Hey guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about how to set up and add your social follow buttons on your Word on your WordPress site. So let's hop on over here. So as you can see here, I have these are my follow buttons right here. Um, as we talked about, these bright, colorful ones are your share buttons. But for this lesson, we're talking about follow buttons. So you can put them in, in pretty much any place that your theme allows for. Um, depending on your theme, you may be able to only add them to your sidebar. Mine actually allows for multiple locations. So what you're going to do is go into your Customize Dashboard. And then you will go into your Widgets. And again, depending on your theme, you may have um, only sidebar. Uh, I have the ability to add stuff in all of these locations, but you may only have primary, and that's okay. So you'll simply click on it. Um, I obviously have a lot of stuff already in my sidebar here. Um, but the, the main place that you want to have it is, if this is your only option for your sidebar, is to have it towards the top. I recommend putting it either right above or right below your um, This Is Me, About Me little um, avatar section here. But if you're able to, I do also recommend to have it at the top. Um, I actually have it right after my content, every blog post right under my share buttons. And then I also have it in the footer. And so how you add them is simply adding a widget. And I'll just open this up really quick. Most themes come pre-installed with the Jetpack plugin for social. Um, and so you have social media icons right here, not social sharing. These are icons. Um, and so you would simply click on that. And then this will open up here. And so all you have to do is go in and add, it says username, but you actually need to put the full URL. So like www.facebook.com backslash and then whatever your um, second part is, the same with Twitter and all of these. And so you only enter it for the ones that you actually have an account for. And then when you hit save, I'm gonna actually go back since I already have them. close that out and it'll put it wherever you added that so like for mine you know if I have it here um, depending on your plugin you may be able to adjust the colors um, mine came pre-installed with my theme so it automatically matches the colors of what my blog theme is um, but again, if you are able to add it in other locations, there are some plugins that you can actually install that enable you to add widgets to other locations if your theme doesn't already allow for it. Um, but the whole point is, you know, you never know at what point during the time they're on your page reading your post that they're like, hey, I really like this. I think I want to follow this person. And so, you know, if they're kind of here towards the end, they're going to have to score all the way back up to the top to find the follow button. But by having it right here at the very end, um, or even in, like here I have it in my footer, you know, it just gives them multiple places to be able to find a way to follow you. I've been on blogs where it was like, oh my gosh, I cannot find a follow button anywhere. Also, be sure after you've installed them to go back into your blog as a visitor and make sure that all of the links work. I've gone to several blogs where, you know, I really wanted to follow them on Instagram and the links were broken. So just always test everything that you do install to make sure it's working um, because usually your readers won't tell you. So that's all. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about these wonderful share buttons and why they are so important.